Bonjour à tous, j'espère que vous allez bien aujourd'hui. Euh, pour aujourd'hui, nous allons euh, élargir le sujet de venir plus de, plus non ou infinitif. Alors, je vais vous montrer quelques exemples de ce que vous allez faire pour votre exercice qui va venir pour euh, l'autre façon d'utiliser venir. So, for today, we are going to expand upon what we talked about with our veneer plus de plus either an infinitive or a noun. Uh, I have a couple examples to show you pour vous montrer. Et uh, then these examples will have to do with your exercise. So last time you worked on venir, de, and then a place, right? So like, je viens d'Indiana. I come from Indiana. Okay. So that one you have venir plus de plus a noun, okay? which just means I'm coming from or I'm from. Now today we get into the more idiomatic uh, portion of this. So I have a couple examples for you. Okay. Hello. So when we're talking about venir plus de plus an infinitive, when you have that construction en français, It translates to just, okay, in terms of I just did something. Now, in French, this construction in a French person's mind means that. In English, it translates to I just did whatever. So that's why it's idiomatic. It does not translate exactly correctly, okay, or exactly uh, how we would say it in English. So venir plus de plus an infinitive. So, for example, if you said, oops. Nous venons de lire un livre. So that would not mean we are coming from to read a book. Okay? It would translate to we just read a book. Right. So in this instance, the infinitive is not really an infinitive. It means like the gerund, like read, play. So it just functions as that. So we just came from somewhere would be different. We just read a book is what you're going to be doing today. So you have veneer, or whoops, you have veneer plus the preposition de plus an infinitive. That whole construction is your we just, I just, you just, etc. So the exercise that you're going to be doing I'm going to show you some examples from that, uh, or an example from that, and then you can work on it. It's very simple, okay? So you just look at that page where it gives you the conjugation of venir. Je viens, tu viens, il vient. Nous venons, vous venez, il, elle, vienne. So it will kind of be, it will be structured like this. So it'll give you a subject. In this case, it's Sylvie, okay, Sylvie. And then in parentheses, it will give you an infinitive, and then something, okay? So, right now it just says Sylvie and to see the Eiffel Tower. You want to say Sylvie just saw the Eiffel Tower, right? You don't have to put anything in passé composé, no past tense or anything like that. We're using this construction. So, to take this, you have to take your stuff in parentheses. So, this is where veneer is going to come in. So each one of these will use the verb veneer, and I'll show you the conjugation for that, okay? But it is also in your book. So to take this, ooh, you would change this into this. So you would be saying, oh, mon Dieu, Sylvie vient de voir la Tour Eiffel, which means Sylvie just saw the Eiffel Tower. So we have veneer plus the preposition de plus an infinitive. That means just. So to give you a different example, where did my eraser go? Say it's used to that. Je vais effacer. So for another example, if you said je, right? So I. Okay. Then you want to say, let's say, I just saw my friend. Okay. So, be je 
Then comes veneer in its conjugated form. You have to conjugate it. You can't use the infinitive here. It has to agree with your subject, right? So je viens de, so that preposition de is important, voir mon ami. So we have our three different parts here. First part, viens, conjugated form, venir, then preposition de, then voir. Je viens de voir mon ami. I just saw my friend. Okay. So if you remember, I lost my eraser again. There we go. Veneer is an irregular verb. So just to refresh your memory, I'm going to do a little cheat T chart here. So we have je viens, tu viens, il, elle, on vient, nous venons, vous venez, and il, elle, Bien. My whiteboard's a little small here. So, we have Je viens, tu viens, il vient, nous venons, vous venez, il, elle vient. So, it goes S, S, T, O, N, S, E, Z, E, N, T. It's irregular. So this is also in the book page that I have posted uh, for you to use. But just remember, it changes forms from venir to V-I-E-N. Je viens, tu viens, il, on, on vient, nous venons, vous venez, il, elle vient. So on your exercise, you'll be doing venir de plus an infinitive, which means just. Okay. So you can consult the book. You can watch this video for the example. I literally took one of the examples from your exercise to do that. So if you have any questions, email me and on se verra bientôt. Au revoir.